What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana. So to pick up where we left off, one of these Spanish armies did not take too kindly to us taking Madrid and has marched to uh, relieve the capital. So uh, what I'm hoping is that we still have a breach um, because they've got lots of quite good infantry. Mine isn't quite so good and a breach would be ideal for them to focus on and we could destroy with massed musketry and quick line fire and we'll have to wait and see if we don't if we don't have a breach i then i'm truly confused as to what the game decides to do because we haven't we haven't even repaired the buildings in the city and if the wall is repaired now then there are times where the city has been captured for about four or five turns and it's still damaged breach 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 yes phew okay So, our line of guns, quick lime, well not quick lime, canister shot, our howitzer is going to be like deployed here, our cavalry is going to be deployed behind the gun line, let's deploy some infantry on the wall. We do want to provide some resistance, but the main focus does have to be against the the units that will be swarming into the uh, the gatehouse, into the uh, the square. Let's put a good unit of marines in the wall here. Let's put a unit of marines here as well. Then we've got. This unit of 22 men, which can go on this gate. Uh, you guys can go here. We've got another 12 pounder. Or two 12 pounders they can deploy right at the back and try and lob shells over the wall. Um, okay, I think that's as good as anything. They can, there are other ways in, and I might even get my quick climbing hearts just to focus on the units that are attacking the other directions. So if they're not attacking the breach, then we're going to try quick climb the bejesus out of them. Especially as they storm up like that. Just second, I'm gonna sneeze. And I'm back. Um, yeah, things are things are this. This is a bit dodgy. Got a lot of units that are. That are pushing different directions, so I'm hoping they decide they're going to change direction. Because we do have a few units going in for the wall, which is going in for the breach, which is great. No, they are going to attack the walls, that's not good news. Great hit on those infantry units. They could both break, that'd be great. But we need to keep hitting them both. Oh yeah, they're coming in. They're avoiding the breach. Deploy cavalry out there to focus on the to focus on the uh, the small units breaking through. Uh, 
There we go, that's what we want to see. These men trying to get in, where hopefully our volleys can push them back. And all we can do is try and do quick climb attacks on these men as they try and get up the wall. You've pushed back one unit. Let's keep the cavalry running freely. You're going to have to rush those units. They are going to successfully climb the climb the wall. There's not a lot we can do to stop them. We've got horse grenadier guards out here, so they're going to intercept what we're trying to do. These men are going to secure the gate, but it's not going to do too much for them. Okay, you guys hit that Swiss line, and you guys hit that garrison guard unit. Actually, you guys hit that regiment of horse. Yeah, one of you guys focus on the line infantry guards, because they're going to bust straight through... When they cross over, they're going to get straight into the gate. So you guys need to run across. Cavalry's coming, but that's not too bad, because I was going to drop you guys into square anyway. You guys both attack the Grenadier Guards. You guys try and attack the Garrison Guards there. Those hussars are going to fall. So you guys both mob the Grenadier Guards. And they've been taken out. Fortunately the Line Infantry Guards are forming up on the wall. So we still have a chance to destroy this unit of Marines quickly. Swiss Line Infantry have been knocked down to 84 men. So you guys hit that regiment of horse, you guys swing south to try to hit those cavalry there. And they are going to get to my gunners, which is going to be a frustrating, but nevertheless fact of war. Maybe both of our units there are upset, but they are holding on to quite a damaged and depleted force. They'll fight there for they are they are quite a depleted force. Okay, you guys are done. You men march out and hit those garrison guards. Same with you guys. These men are likely to be able to be enough to finish those guys off. Okay, Colonial Light, go knock out the demi cannons. Let's get these guys in and these guys in to fight against the Hussars. Colonial lines and marines will be will make short work of them. You guys keep attacking the Swiss regiment. My gunners that are nearly dead just run away. So that is the demi cannons 
taken care of. Push on to the 24 pounders. So you're hitting the Hussars. Focus on the Swiss line here. You men form up and fire musketry into the gatehouse. There we go. All the ah, I was about to say all the men here have routed. You guys need to run up here. Come on, General's bodyguard. Come on, smash into them before they get it to my howitzers. Yeah. Now they've got to my howitzers, so my artillery crews that are in melee, once they're in melee, just run them away. Oh, my general has valiantly died trying to hold off the marines. But it's important, because my... My gunners cannot... My, uh guns cannot go offline. The Guard de Corps are doing good, but I want to set these guys up into line to fire into the backs of these Hussars. It's got my Colonial Light fighting their General's Bodyguard. There we go. Oh, that was... That was dodgy. It was a bit of a scramble. Um... So, if we get another attack like that, we're probably going to not be in a very good shape. Like that. <laughs> well, let's hope these guys do go for the breach, because otherwise, we are screwed. So much so, I might not even defend the wall at all. Um, but let's see. Let us see. If Madrid is lost, we will just send more troops down to the south and we'll attack it with two armies this time. Uh, but we just have to hold on. So yeah, I'm not going to defend the square. I'm not going to defend the, the wall. I'm going to assume that they want to get in. I've got a bunch of infantry. Let's. Okay, well, actually, let's probably be a bit smarter about this. Well, I suppose it's only so smart you can be because you've only got so many uh, troops. This is kind of assuming that they do push through on a broad front. So if I do that... My then... my reinforce... my garrison units of militia and line are okay. My howitzers are not up to full strength because they did get some damage. My cavalry is still in position. Ooh, are they going to get in? To, are they actually going to get into my... They are. They're going to... They can how it's me. Walloon guards, grenadiers, Swiss pikes. This ain't good. So you hit the Wallen Guards, you hit the Grenadieros de Marina. The concerning thing is we're not able to do... Actually, what I might do... Get my Light Cavalry out and get them to attack the Howitzers. Let's 
Let's move up my strong infantry. Okay, you might start to try and thin out some cavalry, actually, because these ho those those elite cavalry guards aren't aren't a joke. They are scary. Give the Walloon this give this Walloon infantry a wide berth. Then swing north. You should have time before they stop. See I can deal with cavalry. Well it looks like, are they? Okay, so let's get, to be honest, let's get one unit to keep hammering the gate now with quicklime. They've realised my cav what my cavalry is up to. I'm surprised they haven't, they haven't actually captured the gate yet, but there we are. Oh, there we go. So the house is broken. Go fight the other gunners. Okay, that's too good of a target to miss for one of you. A whole bunch of General's bodyguard gone there. So these guys might end up pushing around the flank. Well, say might, they are. She's probably better the other way around. Get my crossiers in. That's you guys should have been firing at will. It's just Walloon line, but that's good Walloon. still on site not just stay silent run my cuirassiers away smash into the back of the volume guard you guys focus like hell on those Walloon Guard. push off those volume hopefully push off those volume guard hopefully this guard de corps can knock out the spanish line which they have so everyone sans cavalry take up the line you focus on the guerrillas
format my line like so to engage the line infantry guards. And my quick climb in howitzers. Engage, one engage the Irish Brigade, one engage the pikes to the rear. There we go, these guys should tear into them now. The militia not so much, their job is just to keep up a constant withering fire. Fall these guys back to lure the Wallium guards out. Once we knock out the this line infantry guard, these this unit can then take up this position here. So let's cease fire. Allow my cuirassier to go to town on them. Men pivot. The guns open up on those Wallian guard. Get the militia in. Pikes continuing to be engaged. The Curassiers are winning decisively. So even though militia aren't great, I'm hoping. And fire at will. Pour a volley into the back of the Wallium guards. Okay, the line infantry guards are shaken. Hopefully, they will rout in short order. There we go. My militia fire at will off. Both my howitzers quick climb the Irish regiment. Let's speed up time. Are they having a poor musket as they try and advance to my line? Okay, I see cavalry coming in. Both of you just drop it in the centre. Oh, too bad it's round shot. Still get some good hits. Form square. Keep staying square. Staying square, and the rest of the infantry will take care of them. Keep attacking your general's bodyguard, you guys. Blast them! They're after the garrison. They know these are ethnic Spaniards. They don't like the looks of them. Actually, you guys can now switch to round shot. Attack the pikes all the way to the rear. Make sure this square holds. Like it did break there. But the cavalry's broken and the general general is running about. Okay, so now it's just the uh, the pikes, and there they go. They could have been very dangerous if they actually committed them to the battle, but they didn't, so I'm not going to worry about that. God damn, this army's getting thin. That's right, 
Don't need to try again to want to inset this sloop. Yes. <laughs> Captured it, but I don't want it. Good. Don't try and take the city any ever again. They will probably try again immediately next turn. Not that there's much I can do about that. We do have that, that army there in southern France, but they're too far away to make any immediate move. Oh no! Oh no! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! What gar garrison did I got? I got a fixed artillery and a another infantry unit. Well then, we're really making them pay for Madrid. They want it. They're gonna have to. Uh, <laughs> they're gonna have to come and get it. Damn! Damn! Und blast! So. Well, it's going to have to be two weak units. Gun team. Three pretty weak units. Gun team. Strong unit. Militia in reserve. Uh, Marines in reserve. All of our... All of our un... Uh, non line of sight artillery just sit here firing from the rear. Guard de corps and cuirassier ready. How uh, field artillery is not going to open up. So all my howitzers fire round shot. Although they are going to soon rapidly fire quick lime, especially against. It's always these units that go around here. They're the most dangerous ones. And again, we've got another... Is that horse artillery? Yeah, it is. So my howitzers focus on knocking out these two units. My mortars are going to fire at whoever they like. And they're going to be probably not super effective because that was a would have been a good shot but never mind that's a better shot Got line of infantry and walloon guards pushing in through this section so i might want to run you guys across Keep the howitzers focus on focusing on these guys. To try and at least heavily, well, more heavily damage them more than they already have been. African native infantry coming through the centre. Same with the, some leftover Walloon guard. The second foot guards probably seen them in action. Ooh, you guys both hit the ninth because they're all sat there in a big tasty lump. Oh, don't tell me you, you, you aim for the guys up front. Oh well. Best laid plans. These men are going to push around the left which is a bit weird. The gatehouse is already theirs. So who's back there? A 90 strong regiment of horse.
you guys need to try and hit this flank first. Turn. Form ranks and fire. You guys try to smash into the... Actually, no, don't smash into the night. Let them fire for a bit. There we go. So hopefully we can knock out the Spanish on a broad front. You guys knock out those Amazons. You guys now smash in. Because you should, by the time they fire their third volley... Fire, good. Smash my heavy cavalry in, and that should be enough for them. You guys hold fire. You guys join them in the charge. Head them off. You guys continue to engage. Again, my other, another general captain has died. Charge into the rear of the 22nd. That should be enough for them. Knock them out. Good. Guard de corps. Get them over here quick. Eh, let's get you guys into the fight. So what else have they got? Walloon guards. Start round shotting their horse to the rear. The dragoons have dismounted, which is great. You guys smash into the regiment of militia. Boom. Come on, knock out that regiment. Smash into the Walloon guards. This infantry unit take position in the center. All of you guys charge the hundred and fifth. Actually, where's my weakest unit? You guys run up to the top and retake the wall. They're too short range. Okay. Okay, so what I don't want to do is get involved in a big scrum in the center. Because these Walloon guards will win every time. I need to do something more like this. Hey, I need to take the gate. These cuirassiers need to come around the rear and fight the Walloon guards. So these guys need to retake the gatehouse. So you men... 
Ah oh, no, they've come. They've, they've twigged what I'm doing. Very well. We need to pin them in then. We need to fight them on every front. Most of them are inside anyway. But at least we can try and pin and kill some men at the top of the walls. We've got cuirassiers attacking men outside and we've also got them penned in inside the walls. My howitzers, so they can continue to fire on the enemy artillery. There we go, your foot guards are going to go down. So who have they got left? General's Bodyguard, Regiment of Horse and Dragoons. Assuming the Warloon Guards don't break everyone first. These cuirassiers don't have long until they're uh, they're exhausted. There's another Walloon guardsman knocked down. So my guard de corps need to do some really do some work. Unfortunately, my crassiers are against so relatively few Walloon guardsmen. They're actually staying around, sticking around a lot longer than you think. Oh, they were wavering for a second there. It's not good. They're starting to flirt with Shaken a bit more often. No, they killed Pierre. Ah, oh, he disappeared. There you go, Jacques got him. Go on, everyone charging again. See, they were confident. Well, they were, they were shaken. Now they're confident again. We've lost a cuirassier. Let's increase the clock a minute because uh, <laughs> this is the only thing that's happening. Come on, kill these these this handful of yes. There we go. Line my men up. Quick line, regiment of horse, please. That's a mighty, mighty strong unit, especially as they're now charging. 90 strong regiment of horse will cause a lot of damage. Whoops, slow mo. Quick, like, god damn, that certainly helped. 90 down to 34. So as these men charge in, they should be greeted by tasty bit of musketry. Present fire! Go feel oh, get our um, howitzers to re-engage at distance. This regiment of force is not going to stick around for too long. Nope. There we go. So now it's just attacking their artillery and I'm probably not going to push because my artillery is weak enough as it is and they're 
this small unit of dragoons could be enough with one good volley to cause them to break. So I'm probably going to chop the recording here and then pulse and then just carry on fighting uh, this battle off screen and then bring you guys back at the end. So thanks, thanks, for, thanks for now guys. I'll see you in a second. There we are. Heroic victory. The third uh, battle of Madrid. The third desperate defense of Madrid. And our force is being whittled down considerably. There's a chance, though, that that's it. That's the force that we repelled near the bridge. It's on our way to Syria. And two more Ottoman armies, which I'm hoping will make their way towards a bridge for us to intercept. But at least that means that uh, Madrid is safe for a turn. And they need reinforcement, and quickly. But yep, Sweden is aware of the uh, the danger being sent their way. Well, you can destroy our little fifth rate if you like. Yeah, we oh, we didn't know. I thought we took one out. Disaster. Sad face. You say disaster? It's not so bad. I mean, we have Finland. We can push to some push on St. Petersburg. Uh, ooh, do we want to intercept? Probably is the answer to that, because then we can fight them and push. This guy moving would trigger the garrison being deployed and then pushed away. So I'm going to want to do that, but uh, looking at the timer, I believe it's uh, not something to happen now. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, we've managed to hold on to Madrid, and I'll see you next time for the, the interception of this Azerbaijani force which will hopefully leave Ardabil exposed and then we can push on and knock out the Persians once and for all. So, thank you everyone.